And still on the COVID-19 outbreak, we are now joined by His Royal Majesty Oba Kintude Akinyemu, the Eselu of Eselu Yewa North of Ogun State. Good afternoon, His Royal Majesty. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Very quickly, how is the lockdown faring in your community? How is it going? Well, uh, the lockdown uh, is, uh, you know, very, very highly cumbersome and uh, a lot of challenges in the community. But we've been trying to put in our best possible, at least to support the community in our own little way. Your Majesty, sir, when you say there are many challenges, what exactly are you alluding to? Well, what I'm trying to say is, you know, a lot of people are here and this issue of uh, palliative uh, measures has not really been coming down to the border area. You know, we are still expecting the governor to send our own palliatives there so we'll be able to help the community. Mm. You know, the youth, they just roaming around looking for what to eat. You know, it's been highly challenging. But in our own little way as a traditional ruler, we have to put in our best possible, at least to give out some little things mm -hmm. to them. We cannot do it all, you know, but we are putting in our best. I think the approach is very wrong, from the federal to the states, even to, to the local level. When you say, and just to be clear, you said the approach is very wrong. What approach are we talking about here? Yeah, the measures they are using to share the palliative goods. You know, I think each each houses in Nigeria, I'm not talking of Ogun State now, but each each houses in Nigeria, at least the government should be able to give them at worst a bag of rice in one building. Half bag of rice, beans, other things. Mm -hmm. Most of the people in Nigeria most of the people in Nigeria go around to work, selling, trading, and doing other little things to make money. But for government to ask them to stay at home without giving them food. So at times I just sit down and wonder, what are we really preventing? Are we preventing death or coronavirus? It's a two different thing. Because if you are preventing death, then there must be availability of food for people to eat except we are preventing COVID-19 that can lead to death anyway. But if we are preventing COVID-19 and yet people are told they have nothing to eat, they are still going to die. So that was why I put the question forward, that are we really preventing death or we are preventing the spread of coronavirus? That's the truth. Mm -hmm. right. Because you can't tell people to stay at home without giving them food. I'm not talking about myself. I'm a traditional ruler. I have what to eat at home, and I still give to people. Mm. But the government should be able to at least give one building half bag of rice, gari, oil. All these things we're talking about is still in between 25,000 30,000. Your Majesty, just so by way of asking, we are... have you had any conversation with the government of the day directly to say these are the issues your people are facing currently? Well, we've been putting in our best to get it forward to them. And I'm sure the governor too is putting in his best at least in Ogun State, yesterday it was in Abekuta South, you know, trying to give goods, rice and the rest of those things to the people. And the only thing I expect the government to do now is to send his cabinet back home to go back to their different constituencies and at least put in their own quota so they could help these people. There are a lot of people, hungry youths out there. They are not happy. Nobody is happy. You can't even move freely. You know, because we have nothing to give them to eat. So I think there is a gap, there's a communication gap between the federal and the state government. Mm. You see, there's no point federal doing a different thing, state doing a different thing. It's not the right approach. The right approach is for the federal and the state to sit down and work out modalities. Okay, each each houses. There are ways they can share these goods. They can go through traditional rulers, traditional rulers to ballet minor shift and see to their shifts. They can even go through the religion, the spiritual royal fathers, spiritual fathers, pastor, bishops, 
Muslims, Nas, and I mean, and the rest of it. And they can even go through a, a IBDC or what do you call it? These people that share the past bills around. They can go through them. Those ones know houses to give food. And they will put in, you know, the principal people will go with them to share those goods. Mm -hmm. It's not by giving two, two things of rice to one the whole house and you're still asking them to stay at home. You see, we must work in modalities to prevent crime in Nigeria. It is not adding more to it. We are giving police a lot of job because we are not doing the right thing. What is rice? What is gari? What is beans? People can stay home for one month, provided you give them what to eat. Mm. But we are making it so difficult for even common Nigerians to stay at home to, eat, to even get what to eat. But before I let you go, uh, you mentioned about crime rates there. What have you been able to do to pacify your people, especially the young people, during this time of crisis to still hold it together? Well, well I'm sorry to tell you this. A hungry man is a hungry man. There is no way you could appeal to a hungry person without giving the person food. There must be availability of food for the person. Mm. That's the truth. You see, I haven't voted 2019, whatever name you want to call it, some call it gerrymandering. Some call it, you know, free and fair election. But what we are saying here is, everybody, the expectation is high. They want dividend of democracy, mm. and this is just a test of time. I have to commend the Nigerian doctors and the health workers because I could remember vividly that there was a time a governor said, "Sack all of them, go away. Don't worry, what are you doing? What stupid money are you looking for?" But we are ashamed today. That the same set of people we've been telling the government to sack them, send them away, we are still falling back to them without any basic facilities. Our hospitals in Nigeria is an eyesore. You could let, you could take a look. I, I was watching the TV. Somebody was saying we have good hospitals. Having good hospitals is beyond having block and uh, cement. Mm. Are we comparing any hospital in Nigeria to Thomas Hospital in UK or, or Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Scotland? Or can be teaching hospitals?